Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. And over there is John Lewandowski. John, why do you have your tree up already? Because <laughs> uh, I do. <laughs> no, I know. We got a hectic schedule ahead of us. And December doesn't yield many days off. And with Thanksgiving coming and that being a busy week, I definitely get it, man. I've been contemplating it myself. Yeah. Um. Uh, just one quick thing, uh, or two quick things before we get into our show for today. Uh, first off, I would like to thank our sponsor, Hockey Locker, for being our sponsor yet again this season. This is his fifth season, uh, or their fifth season. Um, I know the owner. So, um, uh, thank you to him. You can call them at 404 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. They will offer you for all your hockey needs. All right, the two things I wanted to take care of really quickly. One, uh, apparently uh, Marc-Andre Fleury was injured and will be on IR for the uh, foreseeable future for the Wild going forward because he has a, a severe injury from apparently, as they're saying, getting run over by Tanner Janot. Um... Be it that you know played this game, I don't think the league saw anything that, you know, um, was worth suspending on that. I, I don't think it probably was. Um, also, our well wishes to Scott Wedgwood. Yep. Um, he left the ice on the stretcher. Um, he said he was taken from the Stars game on a stretcher. The goalie is not in any particular danger. He is being checked out by the team staff in the arena at the current moment. Um... Uh, Rope hints of the stars said, "Of course it's scary when it's, of course it's scary when you see a player go down like that." Um, he was playing a great game. I hope everything's okay with him. But we have Ottinger and Net, and he's good too. Not exactly the sign of confidence you want in your locker room. Um, yeah, you because know, you shouldn't be bringing up the guy who came in and gave up two goals. Because when he was injured, they were up. Uh, uh, six to two, they won six to four, so. Uh, so there's that as well. All right, so today the Predators um, are on their third game of their homestand, which is nice because a little home cooking never hurt nobody. Right. Um, And apparently it's been helping the Preds. Um, uh, the, uh, whew, a little warm in here. Uh, just for those of you wondering why I was wearing a winter hat, it is a little chilly in Wisconsin right now. <laughs> for those mm -hmm. of you watching the Titans game, congratulations, you beat our Packers. <laughs> I don't think it's over yet. It is. Okay. And they, lo they won? They lost. The Titans, well, no, the Titans won. Yes, Titans won. Okay. Congratulations to the Tennessee Titans from this Packer fan right here. Um, all righty. Um, John, if you would like to open up the show, that'd be great. <laughs> all right. So as he said, the Islanders took on the Predators today. 
Shots on goal, the Islanders outshot the Predators 33-31. to 31. The Predators in the face-off circle were better at 52% to the Islanders 48%. On the power play, both teams went one for three. They also had eight penalty minutes each. Hits, the Islanders out hit the Predators 37-18. to 18. The Predators out-blocked the Islanders 22-8. to 8. And the Predators had 17 giveaways to the Islanders, seven. All righty. So um, the one thing I wanted to actually bring up here is uh, the Predators started this game the way you wanted to. Uh, they outshot them to start the game 18-7 uh, to 7 in the first, 10-10 10 10 in the second. And uh, the Preds were actually outshot 16-3 to 3 in the third. Uh, so for a uh, statistician there for you. Um, in the first period, Phil Forsberg gets on board with a pretty much around the horn style hockey, pepper the net, pepper the net, go to the net and good things happen. You right. want bread, you go to the bakery. You want goals, you go to the net. Oh, God, I sound like EA Sports. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and that's literally the truth, though. Um, Forsberg with his sixth of the season with assist from Roman Yossi, who's playing, been, been playing his best hockey lately, um, his eighth assist, and you saw Parson in his first of the season. There's the second, or the, the, still the first period. Uh, first period, Adam Pellick scores off of a slap shot that deflected off of Dante Fabro's stick. Fabro was where he should be. It bounced off his stick. Not much you can do. Just not a whole lot. Really good shot. Beats. A, a really good deflected shot beats a goaltender every time. Right. Whether it's his own team or not. Um, that was assisted by uh Pollock, his sixth. Then finally, Colton Sissons. Synosis. <laughs> mm. Um gets his first with an assist from Craig Smith off of a very nice just get to the puck to the net. Put the puck on the net and you can make magic happen. That all started with a Roman Yossi pass to Craig Smith. Craig Smith was wide open. Put the puck towards the net and Colton Sissons deflected it right top shelf. Then Nino Niederreiter scores at the 941 mark. So this was all in the first 10 minutes of the game. Yeah. Um, Nino Niederreiter scores his eighth with an assist from Brian McDonough, his sixth, and Roman Yossi his tenth. That McDonough Yossi line it did all right. Yeah, it did. All right, in the second period. The second period, Yuso Parsonen gets on the board with his second, assisted by Forsberg, his 11th, and Fabro, his fourth. And then the Islanders get on the board with a goal from Cal Clutterbuck, his second, assisted by Martin, his third, and Pellick, his sixth. Then in the third, Kyle Palmari. I swear, this is just the hockey team of guys who will never quit. <laughs> right. Uh, it's all guys you never hear about anymore, but they were stars at one point. Right. Um, His sixth with an assist from Peugeot, his eighth, who I haven't heard of since he played with Ottawa, and Romanov, who's a young defenseman who got traded from Montreal. I don't understand why they traded him. Uh, then Yuso Parson gets his third on the power play with an assist from Gradlin, his 12th, and Yossi, his 11th. Um, and then uh, Jean Gabriel Peugeot scores his third. Uh, that's on the power play with an assist from Andres Lee, his ninth, and uh, Matthew Barzell, his 19th. In net for um, the Islanders is uh, Igor Shostorkin, or a hey, sorry. I believe that's Igor Shirokin. Too many Igors! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Ilya Shirokin. Sorry, I stand corrected. 
I don't watch the Islanders a whole lot, so probably why I fumbled his name. Um, Elias Shirokin stopped 26 of 31 with an 83.9 save percentage. Uh, and that for the Preds, was Yusuf Saro stopping 29 to 33 with a 0.87. Nine save percentage. So both sub nine save percentage. Um, I would like to congratulate John Hines on his hundred win as a the Nashville head coach. Say hello to Lane Lambert as he is a former Admiral coach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, he coached here for many, many, many years. He was here when Claude was here. He was here when um uh when when Trotz left, he left. Um Scratches for today were Robin Salo and Josh Bailey. Um um scratches for Nashville were Cody Glass, Zach Sanford, and Yakov. Treaded treaded his day to day yet again with another injury. Um, sounds like that's going to be one of the seasons for him. Uh, your three stars of the game, third star of the game was Phil Forsberg with a goal and an assist. He also had five shots on goal, two hits, and one, one block and two giveaways. Only 15 minutes of ice time. Not bad. Um, second star of the game, Roman Yossi. With four assists, a plus two, seven shots on goal, four blocks. What a game. Number one star, Yusuf Parsonen. Two goals, one assist, three points, a uh, plus two, three shots on goal, two hits, two giveaways, two takeaways. And 55% on the face-off. He also played 14 minutes. That is more time than Jankowski. He played more time than McCarron. He played more time than Lazan and Fabro. Well, no, Fabro had more time by 14 seconds. Hold on. So that's all I got there. Um, we will be back tomorrow with the Admirals at the Wild. I believe it's Friday already, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everybody, remember, it's Uh-oh. I just woke up the baby. Uh oh. Um. Uh. So this weekend we have uh the Admirals of the Wild on Friday uh and Saturday uh it's a home for the Wild and then home for the Admirals so it's a road a home and home kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They're at home then we're at home kind of thing. Um, and the Preds play uh, the Lightning. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go take care of this. So.